What's up everyone, this is Ryan with UniqueApps.com. Today's app review is going to cover another puzzle game, Trism. Um, Trism is a pretty fun game. It's a, a very, very in-depth puzzle game. Um, by no means is this going to be a complete review of Trism. Um, it's asking me if I want to continue where I left off. Um, no, I'm not going to continue. And um, really, uh, like I said, the only thing with this game is there's so much to this gameplay. Um, I definitely recommend, I'm going to go ahead and click play. I definitely recommend going through this tutorial. And this tutorial is probably like 10 or 15 minutes long. There's so many different combinations and different things you can you can do in this game. Um, and like I said, by far, is this, this is not meant to be a complete review of this game. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Infinism. That's kind of like continuous gameplay here. I'm going to go ahead and click Start New Game going to ask me um, if I want to continue where I left off and I'm going to click no start new um, so here's basically the main screen of Trism um, you have different triangles where you have to connect three or more triangles on the flat edges so um, what I mean by the flat edges is I mean by you can't connect the triangles so for instance right here in the middle there's a blue triangle and a, and a, or a, a um, green triangle connected by a point that doesn't count so let me see if I could see another one um, that's actually the same color. For instance, these two yellows, okay? This yellow right here and this yellow are connected, um, or, but, but they're not connected on the flat edges. So, so these two count as one. So um, these two yellows right here, they count as two. And so I need to connect that with a third one, which I can connect, can connect that with these two or with this one. And again, um, another cool feature about this game, which I haven't seen in many puzzle games at all, is it uses the accelerometers on all, or the accelerometer on all levels of the iPhone, so that the blocks don't just drop from this angle; they drop really from any angle you have your iPhone tilted. So if you can see here in the bottom right-hand screen, there's the little compass, and the my iPhone is 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 right side up. So if I change this to the left, this compass will actually move, and there will actually be an arrow here showing it's moved this way. So you see that arrow there, and the, also the compass move. Again, if I move it to here, the arrow will play. Again, if I move it here, let me um, touch it so you, it'll open or it'll um, get bright again. And again, every single level with the accelerometer, it'll move. This, um, so again, all levels, and I'll show you what happens whenever um, I connect some. So, for instance, I'm going to connect these four right here. And you, you connect four by moving, or here's another four right here I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect these yellows right here. So you connect four by moving these any, any way that the row will move. So if you look right here, I'm going to have those four yellows connected. And then the blocks will drop in that order. So I should have actually leaned it this way and had the blocks drop in that order to fill in all those spaces, but I was just showing you. So again, I'm going to connect now... Um, Let's see, I'm going to connect to more yellow. So I can, again, I can move in any angle that I want. So now I'm going to connect, well, let me move that back really quick. I'm going to connect these three yellows, and it looks like now, oops, now that these three yellows, I actually got three reds connected too right there. So once I do that, I'm actually going to tilt my iPhone to the right and show you how the blocks will fall into place. So see, now the blocks fall into place that way. Um, but again, any way, so once I connect, oops, once I can, oops, let's say that I connect these blues now, now I can have, um, I can, again, I can tilt my iPhone any way to have the blocks drop. Now this was a color, um, looks like I did, again, there's so much to this gameplay, I, I apologize, but I, I'm not sure how I got that color, I think that's by connecting some sort of a pyramid, but now when I connect this color to, um, Let's say, I, let me see where I can connect it. I'm going to connect this rainbow one to this uh, red. It basically acts as a as like a wild card. So I can use that to connect these three reds right here. And so again, you can see <laughs> the game just keeps... The more you play this game, the more you'll understand how those combos work. So you see by that, just that one move I, I cleared about... Uh, maybe 10 or 12 different blocks. So again, the more that you play this game, the more that you understand this gameplay. Um, and again, I'm just going to keep connecting, and I'm going to tell you which ones I'm connecting right now. These yellow ones right now. So again, you saw that too. Um, 
like I said, the more you play this game, um, the more you understand different combos. And I still do not understand this game fully, so I'm going to connect these greens right here. Um, this is such an in-depth game, and again, there's so many different combos and stuff. And the main point, again, is just to clear, just to, just to make um, the most combos that you can make. Um, and um, really, I mean, that's, I guess, my game, my game review of Trism. Um, that's, that's, I guess, a, a brief overview. Like I said, by no means is this supposed to be a in-depth in, in, or a in-depth app review of Trism. I wanted you to see the gameplay. I wanted you to see the accelerometer. And like I said, I still do not fully understand this game. It's a very, very in-depth game. Um, a lot of stuff that you can do. A lot of different combos. A lot of different gameplays too. Um, if I go out to the main menu, you'll, you'll see. Well, actually, I just um, I don't know if you can. Yeah, double tap that to exit to the main menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and click exit, end, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. And there's um, game selection. Like I said, there's a couple other different games that you can play, and this gameplay is pretty much infinite. I mean, there's a lot that you can do with this game. Um, so I recommend if you do want to buy this game, definitely go through the tutorials. Very in-depth game. Very cool game. I give it a 4 out of 5 stars. Again, like I said, this is not meant to be a full review. There's so much more to this game than I just showed you. Just wanted to do a brief overview. Is a very fun game. It's $2.99 in the iTunes store. Again, this is Ryan with Unique Apps. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did enjoy this review, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more reviews to come and um, a lot more actually giveaways that I'm going to be doing in the future. So again, hope you enjoyed the review and I hope you have a wonderful day.